Gyms and workout facilities are back open. You have to wonder what the Spurs' plans are now. Are they headed back to their practice facility? As far as we know, not yet. The Spurs have told us they will not reopen their practice facility until they can be sure that players will be safe. That means testing would need to be done often for players and staff. Some teams around the league already started practicing. The Clippers and Lakers both started in Los Angeles, and the Cleveland Cavaliers have been practicing since May 8th. The Houston Rockets said they are starting this week, but all teams in Texas were limited by Governor Greg Abbott's order, which he eased yesterday. When they do open, only four players will be allowed into the practice facility at one time and no coaches. It is the first step in getting the season to continue, and until that happens, getting back on the court, even without fans, is still on hold. Pro Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. Claiming he is ready to go and as healthy as ever, Cowboy star linebacker Leighton Vander Esch is ready to return off-season activities in person when that's allowed by the NFL. That's what he told CBSSports.com after undergoing neck surgery this past January. He got surgery after an injury limited to just nine games last season. The Wolf made a name for himself during his rookie season with the Cowboys when he totaled 140 tackles. You know, playing two high school sports at a time at a competitive level, not unheard of, but playing them both well enough to continue either in college, that's something else entirely. But that's what Reagan's Will Karsten did leading up to a very tough decision. Kids Control Sports' Jessica Hunt has more for us. It's really hard to do. We, we've had very few that were able to do it at the level he's able to do it at. Especially at the 6A level to, to be a multi-sport guy and, and be really good at, at multiple sports. And, and, you know, he was able to do it. Skilled in both basketball and baseball, Reagan graduate Will Karsten had the rare opportunity to pursue either sport at the Division I level after earning his first D1 offer in basketball from Southeast Missouri State in April. Going on my whole life, I've done both. I've never really experienced what it's really like to spend and dedicate 100% of my time into one sport. A lot of people are telling me, you know, that like I'm just scratching kind of like the surface of like my potential in basketball. I think he's a great player. I think he's got a really high ceiling. He's got a college ready body right now, which is very rare. We really feel like if he chose to play basketball, he would have an opportunity to, to be an outstanding player and have a great career in college. As a senior, the first team all district selection averaged a double double, which is arguably just as impressive as his baseball stats from his last full season. A 9 0 record in a 1 6 3 ERA. Karsten decommitted from playing baseball at Tulane in December, but the 6 8 right handed pitcher knew his physical attributes could still make a bigger difference in baseball. I might just get like lost in a bunch of other athletes that are all equally as good, if not better, in the basketball level, whereas in baseball I'm already kind of a standout because I've got a foot or six inches on a lot of other players. As the NCAA granted another year of eligibility to senior spring student athletes and the MLB draft decreased from 40 to five rounds less scholarship money was available to incoming players and Carson ultimately elected to play at McLennan. He's going to one of the top uh, JUCO programs in the country. I mean McLennan is in the running for a national championship year in and year out. It's a great place for Will because he's going to go in and, and he's going to have a chance to pitch right away. In the past they have a really strong advancement of player skills. You know I think that by going there it's only going to help me. Not easy to do to play two sports at a high level, even in high school. It's hard to do one sport <laughs> at a high level. But it's easy to do a great show. It, SA Live does it every day. Yeah. Aww. Yes, like they do. Wow. Yeah, um, right? I know. Oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> Do we owe you money? No, I know. Kidding. I feel like we need to slip him a 10 or something. <laughs> oh. Well, we are highlighting concerts that you can enjoy from the comfort of your own home using the KSAT TV app. This is a great opportunity to support local musicians without having to even leave the couch. Yeah, it's a fun opportunity to jam out in your jammies and support a local at the same time. And if you aren't using daycare, there are still ways to make sure your kids are entertained and learning while you're at work during the day. We are going over a few summer camps around town that are safely operating to give your children a fun and educational summer camp experience. Plus, everyone is getting creative lately with crafts and ways to interact with other people. The Puzzle Project is one way to two local artists put a spin on the typical activity. 
We are going over exactly what that means and how you can get your whole family involved and puzzling. Hmm. And we have another creative idea. We are going to learn how you can turn a three ring binder into a makeup caddy. This can be an incredibly useful craft and a way to get your creative mind flowing. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Krispy Kreme is offering a sweet deal for graduating seniors. It's for today only. We told you about it yesterday, but we're going to remind you the donut chain is giving away a free dozen donuts. They're called the 2020 graduation dozen. To get yours, all you have to do is prove you're a graduating high school or college senior. Seniors must wear their cap and gown. Supplies are limited, though, so hurry and get your sweet treat. My son's picking up his cap and gown today. We'll send him over to Christ. He's in the nick of time for his yeah. donuts. That's perfect. And if he wants to share a few with us, hey. I'm okay with that. It. Just we're don't leave him in the car. They'll melt. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, we're already up to 90 degrees. It's going to be a hot one today. 99, 96 tomorrow. Rain chances, they'll return by the end of the week. And into the weekend, looks like it could be a little wet. 40% chance of rain Sunday into Monday. Thank you, Justin. That's all of our show for now. For all of us here at KSAT, thanks for joining us. They don't have donuts, but they've got a lot of fun treats instead. Mike and Fiona, they're starting right now. We're putting a spotlight on endangered species today with a close encounter at the rhinos with the rhinos at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. It's time to DIY. If you're looking for a new craft to spend time on, we are going over how you can craft a makeup caddy out of a three ring binder and how a local donut shop is doing its part to help our heroes on the front lines. Learn how you can do your part to help while enjoying a sweet treat. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSAT 12 studios. This is SA Live. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Well, art just makes you feel good about life. Check out these kids in a splatter paint class at Gina Marie's art studio in Bernie. That looks like so much fun, and I love that it's somewhere else that gets the mess. <laughs> oh, I am Fiona Gorsiza. <laughs> and I'm my ghost, your Hage. Well, how have you been expressing yourself? Hey, 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 Madonna. So, Are you going to uh, sing? Oh, wow. We want to see your art and maybe some crafts that you've been putting together. <laughs> An attempt. <laughs> Share your photos and tag us on Facebook and Twitter at SA Live sat and you might see some of your pictures later on in the show. Now for a lot of folks it may seem like our lives are in a jumble and we're trying to kind of piece it back to normal. Yes it seems puzzling right? Well mm -hmm. the art project or the art puzzle project is a new program that's painting a new picture and putting a creative spin on the activity. Jen Tobias Trusky has more from two local artists who put all this together. Our, kind of our goal is to spread uh, peace and tranquility and joy and sharing art at the same time. Interacting with works of art in a unique way. That's the goal behind Art Puzzle Project. And um, I actually surprised Anna with one of her art and we did it together and we had so much fun doing it that um, we thought, how can we share this with others? And it just kind of grew out of there. Co-founders Anna Fernandez and Susan Oliver Hurd are turning works of art from local artists into puzzles, something you can't get anywhere else. So this is the very first one. This is a completed puzzle, so it features my art. And it was really cool to make a puzzle that was of a painting um, because with the brush strokes and the colors, and so we just got to talking about how it was, it's really cool to do a puzzle that is so unique. We've got at least 15 artists right now, uh, mostly local artists, we've got a few national as well. So basically the artists are donating an image to the cause. They wanted to find a way to share this timeless activity. So they're teaming up with Meals on Wheels. They're excited to be able to have something they can uh, give to the people enrolled in the program. So it's gonna be hopefully somewhat of a surprise unless they're watching this. And it's a great way if you're alone particularly um, to have a lot of fun, figure out, you know, which paint goes there and kind of look at the picture and just pass the time without, you know, if you read too many books or watch too much TV, this is a, just a different variety of things to do. You can also purchase puzzles from their website and all the funds go towards making more puzzles. The designs that we're selling, uh, you know, they're all really family friendly, like kind of 
designs. We're going to have a special edition puzzle for the Meals on Wheels. So it's still kind of up in the air and open. So, you know, we were having a lot of fun, like, going through all the photos and just, or the uh, digital images and deciding, like, which ones are going to be the best. So what does it take to create a puzzle from a piece of art? Uh, Susan's an experienced puzzler. And so I kind of ask her, what do you think about this image? Because an image that I think might be really good is either too difficult maybe, or it's really interesting viewing it from a puzzle point of view because of depending on the shapes and colors. And yeah. we also have, a, I want to mention, we also have puzzles for children as well and for people who need larger pieces. So, you know, that's why we're working on a special edition puzzle for the Meals on Wheels. You know, we've got 500 piece, 24 pieces. I didn't realize there were so many different types of puzzles when I got into this. For example, we, I don't know, if you're, if you're making a puzzle and there happens to be like a stray arm in the photograph, that's kind of fun because you can like put the puzzle together and find the arm. And at a time when many are experiencing loneliness, these puzzles can hopefully piece together more smiles. And you're making something, particularly with Anna's work, you're making a scene of San Antonio. I mean, that's really fun. That's where it started. And then we just got all these artists that were excited about it as well. For us, a live end result is that we get to present a bunch of puzzles to people who may be alone. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Right? Very cool. With the art and giving back. Very cool. And it seems like a lot of folks have been doing that now, somehow incorporating to, to help others in whatever they're doing. That's great. And you can find out more information on these creative puzzles. Head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen SA, on SA Live story for today. Now, again, they also have kid puzzles, so something for the whole family. From puzzles to piecing together your own makeup caddy, Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique has a pretty nifty craft idea for us. Check out how you can turn a three ring binder into that makeup caddy. Hi there, SA Livers. This is Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique. Welcome to Elsa's Craft Corner. Just kidding. <laughs> We're actually still in the Eye Candy Boutique showroom. I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself caboodle with supplies you already have at the house. First thing you're gonna need is a binder. Next thing you're gonna need is Velcro strips or Velcro shapes, either and both you can use. Handy dandy glue gun. Of course, you're gonna want backup glue sticks. You're gonna want ribbon. Scissors are gonna be on the list, of course. And then last but not least, you're gonna need your makeup. Your most used or most frequently used makeup is gonna be the best because that's what you're gonna get the most bang for your buck out of these DIY caboodles. Now we have our binder. We're gonna open it and we're gonna start laying out the items on the binder the way that we want them. And then on the left-hand side, like we said earlier, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're using the Velcro for the bigger items. So you're gonna take some of this Velcro. This is a good size right here, especially for the bigger palettes that we have. So you're gonna stick one side here. Make sure you press it down for a little while and it's good to go. Then for this smaller eyeshadow palette, you can put some glue. We're gonna do a shape of a heart just because we can. Make sure that it is glued here. Same thing we can do with this eyeshadow palette and this foundation powder. And then we'll use our strip Velcro. Put that on here. Voila! And then you'll be able to open your palette this way, open your palette this way, open your palette this way, this way. Then you're gonna take your ribbon. I usually give myself a little bit of give. Then you're gonna have your starting point for the ribbon. Put the hot glue there for a little while. Then you're gonna wanna make sure to put the glue on. You're gonna hold it kind of tight. Glue on the other side. I usually give myself a little bit of space in between so that way you don't have the glue gun kind of, or the glue if it comes up, it won't run into each other on the items. Then you go on the other side of the mascara, hot glue that. This is what our girls night out look binder came out. 
And we have our highlighters, our eyeshadows, we have our lipsticks on the bottom, and then we have some brushes, pencils, eyeliners. Make sure to make a little sign. You can be a little decorative here, and that's gonna make you that much more organized. You can find us at Hey Eye Candy on Instagram and Facebook, and also keep track of everything on HeyEyeCandy.com. We are hoping to open up our showroom in the next couple weeks, so we can't wait to see you guys for appointments. Big hugs. Bye. Elsa is so creative with yeah. those kind of beauty hacks and little makeup. That's a fantastic hacks, guy. Right? And, and I mean, think about all the ladies here in, in the dressing room there. Nobody's got oh, a drawer yeah. just to, to pull that oh, out and then you've got it all spread out like that or even different pages if you needed them. I know. Makes me want to go buy makeup just to do that. So. <laughs> I Can't Eat Boutique does have an online store that you can access from your own home so you can shop with them while social distancing. And this is a good time to update your closet. And if you want more information, head to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live story for today. All right, still ahead on SA Live, he changes people's lives by changing their smiles. How you can get a dazzling smile even if you think it's out of reach. And next, we're learning a little bit about rhinos from Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, then testing our own knowledge of different species of endangered animals with a fun game. Keep it right here on SA Live. Welcome back, everybody. Did you know there are more than 40,000 endangered plants and animals? We are going to see how much we know, or don't know, about some of our endangered species with a little game. Yes, we're going to give three facts about an animal and four answer choices. Then we've got to figure out which of the animals is described. First okay. question. Question one. This animal lives in family groups. They can eat all day long, and they are roughly six times stronger than the average human. Elephant, gorilla, tiger, or a more leopard? I would think gorilla. Six times? I thought gorillas were more than that. I'll, I'll say gorilla. I say gorilla. <laughs> yes! <Okay. laughs> I thought they were actually stronger. More, M more than more, six More times? stronger than that. that makes, <laughs> anyway, hey, good grammar, Mike. This animal is very social and considered a party animal. Ooh! Reminds me of college. Uh, they are referred to as a colony on land, but a raft in the water. They're very vocal. Sea turtle, whale, shark, I, I, sea lion, or otter. I say I, otters seem like the party animal. They just do. I'll say sea mischievous. Lion. <laughs> I think you're right. Which one is it? Oh, you got it right. <laughs> All right. This animal can recognize themselves in the mirror, making them one of four animals that have self-awareness, including humans. They can have babies until they are 50 years old, and they are afraid of bees. Elephant, orangutan, chimpanzee, or a red panda? I'm gonna say orangutan. Uh, orangutan. Uh, yeah. wow. I, I was thinking elephant. Oh, okay. Huh. You can hear this animal from up to two miles away. They have great night vision, and about half of them do not survive into adulthood. They are polar bears, gray wolf, tiger, or blue whale. Uh, gray wolf. Uh, tiger. Pretty quick with that sound effect, aren't we there? So. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thank you. This, this, <laughs> this animal is only found in the Americas. They are regarded as a symbol of strength in some mythologies. It is a solitary animal. Arctic fox, chimpanzee, rhino, or jaguar. Arctic. Jack. Oh. Wait, it's in the Americas, jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> prettiest of the big cats, I think. Places such as Texas Park and Wildlife are doing their part to help endangered species right here in Texas, of course. And if you're interested in doing your part, you can head to their website or any endangered animal rescue website to find out more information on how to help. Now, while we are getting to learn a lot about the animals here, David Eller got to chat with Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch about their rhinos, which are a critically endangered species. Take a look. We're here at the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. Right behind us are two of the most beautiful animals I've ever got to come up close to. Tiffany, you're here with us as well, and you're gonna be joining us to talk about these animals right here. What do they eat? What do rhinos eat? They eat a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but they mainly eat coastal hay. They're not ruminants that, that eat a whole bunch and then ferment it. They're more like a horse. They're closer related to a horse than they are a giraffe. 
Wow. Be because of their, their, their foot structure, their digestive structure. So they eat that coastal hay that, that he helps in their digestion, and then they eat a commercial diet that's a herbivore diet that's made specifically for large herbivores. Isn't that crazy? This is an herbivore eating only like greens and things, yeah. but massive and powerful. Massive. And you just explained that muscle on the top. I mean, how much does their head weigh? So, so this is just muscle. And that muscle it just is, helps like as a lever because their head with their horn weight, their skull weight, they can weigh up to 500 pounds. Wow. Because a rhino weighs about 4,000 pounds. That's incredible. These are little tanks. Little tanks. Yeah. Like, well, not really little, well, but they're tanks. tanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're tanks. That's they are. There's five species of rhino, two of which are from Africa, the white rhino and the black rhino. Black rhinos are a lot more aggressive. White rhinos, Chill. They, these are they like love, large, these are like large puppy dogs. Love attention. Oh, they're love so sweet. Attention. This is wild. I've never been this close to any animal that has really wowed me like this ever before my whole life. This is such a cool thing to do. And you get to do this when you drive through the ranch. You get to see them when you drive by. You drive right by their, right by their enclosure. That is mm -hmm. incredible. A lot of times, you know, especially in the summer, the warmer months, you can see all the mud on them. You know, they're, they have um, very little sweat glands. So they, the mud helps them cool themselves. So you'll see them, their mud hole is just right by the road. Right <laughs> yeah, by the you road. You can see it, it's right behind us. Right behind the road. Now, I don't want to mess with them too much right now because it, it's, it's time to eat, right? And they have all their food right here. And just real quick, weight wise, like that is at least a 50 pound bag of food, right? Yes, it's a 50 pound bag of food and then the hay bale, 40, 50 pounds. And that, that's daily. That's daily. daily. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. <laughs> That's a lot of food, y'all. <laughs> Tiffany, thank you so much for showing off these gorgeous creatures. Of course, they're endangered. The awareness of just seeing these animals up close and, and you can look like this. They're so powerful. And to yes. see them is, is powerful because you want to save them. You want them to be here for future generations. To have an appreciation for something, you have to have a memory. You have to have a bond, something besides what you just see in a book. And so we, you know, we always say, you know, for our school kids, we're bringing textbooks to life and we're helping families create memories. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, head weighs 500 pounds. I didn't know that you know what you know <laughs> about rhino's lips. What was that, Mike, that the you white, were sharing? The white rhino has a relatively squared off lip and the black rhino has kind of a pointed top lip. Be sure to share that with Bonnie later today. I'm sure she's going to love it. You know that. <laughs> and, Mike and again, her that he response knows. is not how do you know that, but why, why? do you know that? <laughs> Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch is open for business. They are doing drive through safaris, so you are able to social distance while enjoying the beauty of nature and interacting with the animals. But for safety reasons, feeding will only be done by the staff. And if you're wanting more animal information from the Wildlife Ranch, they post fun videos on the Facebook page all the time. Recently, they posted a video honoring the endangered animals that they care for on their property. So to find it, just go to salive.com and go to ours as seen on, go to SA, as seen on SA Live Story, something like that. Yep, you got there. <laughs> Still ahead on the show. Relax with these jams from home, how you can support local musicians from the comfort of your own home, and you can even attend virtual concerts to jam out to in your jammies. And learn to love your smile. If you don't want to show your teeth, Dr. Menaris can help you feel good about your pearly whites. That's next on SA Live. important than ever. It can bring cheer to someone else's day when you're FaceTiming or teleconferencing with family, and a bright smile can make you feel happy when you need it most. If you feel embarrassed about your smile, we know who can help. Dr. Alfonso Menares is a full mouth reconstruction specialist at Stone Ridge Dental, and he joins us now. Good afternoon. Hi, Fiona. Thanks for having me back. Of course, it's good to see you. Tell us about full mouth reconstruction. What does it involve, and who is it for? 
Well, Fiona, full muscle reconstruction is basically replacing all the teeth in, in, in a human being, you know, for, for those patients that need it. For, there's a lot of people that, that need it, that, that don't have teeth, or their teeth are in really bad shape because of cavities, because of gum disease, because of just multiple failing restorations. And, and with dental implants today, we can replace somebody's smile in one day in a very predictable way. And, and in a very comfortable way as well, giving a patient um, the opportunity to get their health, their smile, and, and their function back. And you have some before and after photos to show us. Tell us about these smiles. That's correct, Fiona. Like the first one is a great example of a gentleman that had really worn down teeth because of his airway obstruction and because of clenching and grinding. And as you can see, somebody that wears their teeth, there's not much uh, there to work with, to fix. And also they look a little bit older, so they hold back and they stop talking to people like this wonderful gentleman here. So he came to the office, we replaced all his teeth with dental implants under IV sedation in a very comfortable way. And he walked out with a beautiful set of new teeth. Now he can eat he can smile, he can be himself, and it just improves his self-confidence in incredible. The second case that you can see right there, it, it's a gentleman that just had problems with his teeth his whole life. Uh, he had an overbite, and then he never liked the color and the shape of his teeth. He couldn't eat the foods he wanted. So he came to the office, we analyzed all his options, and we offered him replacing his teeth with dental implants and having a full mouth reconstruction. And this is the way he looks now after getting his teeth replaced with dental implants under IV sedation in one day. Now he's just glowing, he's smiling, he's talking to people, he can enjoy life the way he always wanted. Um, the next case, Fiona, is this lovely lady that had gum disease. It's something that happens really often to a lot of people. Even she tried really hard with her dentist to control the gum disease, and they just couldn't, couldn't. The teeth started to come loose, they started shifting, the tongue started pushing them out, and then um, luckily she had enough bone for us to do this. A lot of patients think that they don't have enough bone, but this lady came to us, we took a three-dimensional x-ray, we were able to replace all her teeth in one day, we we change her smile, we improve her bite, and now she's just one of the most beautiful patients out there. Very thankful, very, very happy, um, and, and starting the rest of her life with new teeth. Last lady, is, it's, it's also a wonderful, wonderful person that just didn't have enough teeth. She had only her front teeth. She had a lot of trouble chewing. She couldn't eat and stay healthy. And she avoided being with her family, you know, being in pictures and things like that. So she was missing out a lot of wonderful things in life. So she came to us and asking for help. We decided that the replacement of teeth and a full mouth reconstruction with implants was the way to go. And you can see how she looks now. You know, she has teeth that feel, function, and look like natural teeth. Again, a lot of people don't know this can even be done, but I want everybody to know this is that there's hope and this can be done and pretty much everyone's a candidate. Dr. Alfonso Menares, thank you so much. You can get a free consultation today with Dr. Menares and his team saving you $350. Give them a call now at 210-610-5. 5479 and for more information visit their website implantsanantonio.com. Dr. Menares, thank you again. Still ahead on SA Live, are you looking for ways to keep your kids entertained and learning during the summer? Find out which camps are open this year around town. And next, we all need a little music in our lives. The KSAT TV app has a way to enjoy concerts from the comfort of your own home. Enjoy the sounds of local musicians. Welcome back, everyone. Well, while we're all continuing to keep our distance, it is important to take time to enjoy the arts and support local artists. Last week, we introduced you to a music series called Stay at Home Jams. It's done by our KSAT originals on our free streaming app, KSAT TV. We put together a montage of some of those performances for you. <laughs>
that you can get all those local artists on there. Right, and just kind of sit back and enjoy it right there from the comfort of your own home. Yep. Well, for more KSAT content, including SA Live segments, KSAT Originals, and Texas Eats, just download the KSAT TV app available on smartphones, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, smart TVs, and even more. We're, we're on everything. <laughs> I think that pretty much covers it. Yep. Still ahead, satisfy your sweet tooth with, ooh, delicious donuts. One Donut Shop is doing its best part to give back to the frontline workers and essential businesses in town, and we're talking about how you can get involved. And next, many families are not able to utilize daycare this summer, but there are ways to make sure your kids are having a fun-filled educational summer while remaining safe. Learn about the summer camps that are opening up next month. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as we head into summer break, of course, a lot of families are wondering about all the local summer camps in town, especially without the option of daycares. Yes, here are some camps that are opening up this summer with increased safety measures after COVID-19. These camps will allow your children a safe environment to learn and have fun while you're at work and must adhere to the CDC and state, light, state guidelines during this time. Yes, the museum will be having camps, though they will be more spread out and limited. Now, kids can learn about dinosaurs, enjoy the joys of cooking, participate in mystery games, and so much more. These camps begin June 1st and end August 14th. These camps last from 8.45 a.m. to 3.20 p.m. with extended hours available from 8 a.m. to 5.20 p.m. They're taking extreme care to ensure the safety of their campers, which means limited spots are available to comply with CDC and state recommendations, including avoiding sand and water play. Another summer camp idea, and this is a great one, is Abby's Attic. Now, they are offering kids summer camps that are designed for children aged 8 and up with no experience needed. Now, this is another educational camp that will allow your children to learn great sewing skills that come in handy later on in their lives and that good little manual dexterity fine motor skills. Each week is a different theme, ranging from animal lovers to how to decorate a room, even something for Harry Potter fans. Now, due to COVID-19, they are reducing the amount of people able to attend the camp by 50% to ensure the safety of campers. And they're offering camps at their Thousand Oaks and Culebra locations. For more information and to find out the weekly themes, just head to their website. For any young chefs out there, there is another class that teaches the craft of cooking. The Culinary Cottage has three-day cooking camps in June. Now, unfortunately, they are completely booked up due to lower capacity levels, so make sure to apply early for next year. Now, they do still have spots open for the one-day cooking and baking camps in July and August. They have kid camps for children ages 6 to 14, 
and they are also offering a dorm cooking class for those who are off to college in the fall. You know, just make sure they're able to eat something besides ramen or, you know. <laughs> so make sure to check out their website for more information on the camps and classes that are being offered and to see how they're changing due to COVID-19 restrictions and regulations. That is a really good idea for a camp. Right. Hey, if your child's not into cooking, how about a camp to get out and enjoy nature and the animals with a horse camp? Gypsy Farms is offering summer camps that run Mondays through Fridays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. for elementary, middle school, and high school aged children. They offer both English and Western horseback riding lessons for all levels of experience. Gypsy Farms focuses on safe horsemanship while learning to understand the behavior of the animals. Safety is, of course, the primary concern, but campers will also learn how to groom, care, and tack their horse. Riders may learn different riding styles to find what best suits them. Email just Gypsy Farms to sign up for a summer camp session. You can find more information about each session on their website. That I was, was watching those, picture. those pictures going by. They were precious. And there is another option for a horse camp in town. Spring Creek Stables is also offering a great week-long camp for young riders. All skill levels are welcome to attend their camps. Now, the primary focus is to teach kids the skills they need to safely handle their horse and build their skills in the saddle and they give young riders the knowledge they need about animals and animal care including grooming and barn maintenance. The camps include horse games that are a blast for campers but serve a purpose to help kids remember all the great information they're being taught. They'll even have a chance to create arts and crafts to take home as a keepsake. Camp sessions run Monday through Thursday 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Helmets and riding equipment are provided but they are welcome to bring their own helmets as long as they fit the safety requirements. The first week of camp is dedicated to students with disabilities and those with access and functional needs. Now, of course, these are only a few of the camp ideas around town that you can take part in, and all of the ones mentioned here are, of course, making safety changes to adhere to CDC and state guidelines. There are plenty of fun and educational opportunities for your kids to take part in while you are at work, and if you want to find any websites of the camps we mentioned, make sure you go to salive.com and find our As Seen on SA Live story. All right, up next, we are talking about the local donut shop that's giving away donuts to our frontline workers and essential businesses. Find out how you can be a part of it. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Duck Donuts is a northwest side donut shop that creates great made-to-order donuts right here in town. Oh, These things are insane. Smell them right now. Yeah. We are taking a look back to one of the times when David Elder paid them a visit and gave us a taste oh, of yeah. their donut creations. Still remember. So good. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Well, today on Elder Eats, we're back out here at Duck Donuts to look at some of their new donuts that they have on the menu. Plus, I'm gonna get a donut sandwich and I'm gonna drink some cappuccino because it's really early and I need to wake up. Duck Donuts has been quacking out hot, fresh donuts in San Antonio for five months and customers have been loving it. How many donuts do you get to eat when you actually get your donuts? One. You get to eat one donut. How many would you really want to eat though? Five. <laughs> in five months of being open, we've made over 300,000 donuts. Their donuts are made fresh in-house every day, starting with the dough. The dough is added to a machine that drops it into a conveyor belt in a fryer. The belt cascades the donuts through a hot bath of oil and drops them onto a cooling disc. After they are cooled, you get to add whatever toppings you like. The experience of coming into the shop, smelling the, the warm, fresh vanilla cake donut, and getting the chance to build your own donut or tell us how to, to flavor your donut is an experience that you will remember and I think you will like it. And the best part, they're introducing a new line of donuts just in time for summer. Cinnamon sugar, powdered sugar, vanilla with Oreo and hot fudge drizzle, strawberry icing with rainbow sprinkles, chocolate with rainbow sprinkles, chocolate with a vanilla drizzle, maple bacon, their most ordered donut, a glazed donut, a blueberry with a lemon drizzle, an orange with a vanilla drizzle, an orange with rainbow sprinkles, and lemon with a coconut topping. The new donuts are designed with bright citrus icings, unicorn sprinkles, and summer-themed ingredients. It's all about making a donut that you like. <laughs> but when I go to Duck Donuts, I got to get their bacon maple icing breakfast sandwich and a cappuccino. There's the sandwich. 
If you love donuts or like to indulge in a sweet treat every once in a while, Duck Donuts offers a unique donut creating experience unlike anything else in San Antonio. You guys gotta come out here, Duck Donuts, introducing their new summer line of donuts. Check these out, all delicious and wonderful. And if you guys haven't been out here, I don't know what you're doing. It's fantastic, you get to customize, make your own donuts. It's an experience unlike anything else here in San Antonio when it comes to donuts. And of course you can get your cappuccinos, your espressos, everything else when you come in as well. And did I mention you get to make your own donuts? I mean, that alone is just worth coming out here. Look at all the new donuts though, it's amazing. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. I literally got dizzy right. when he was going through the, all the All those, donuts. look at the, I mean, even the ones that are right there. Mm. Duck mm. Donuts is doing its part to give back to local heroes. Their mission right now is to donate 25,000 donuts to frontline workers or an essential business of your choice. You are able to choose where your donation goes during checkout. Now, you can donate a donut through their online ordering platform or the Duck Donuts reward app. Now, if you wish to only order a donut to donate, you can do so under the Donations tab. And if you want to see the donations in action, go to their Facebook page at Duck Donuts. This is a great way to show off how we can help each other uh, and other people in our community. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's National Rescue Dog Day. We're learning how one local rescue is adapting to the new times in a fun way. Plus, we're getting you ready for a summer of fun. These gadgets and games are just what your family needs, whether you're staying in or maybe enjoying some sun. That and a whole lot more at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Well, earlier we asked you to share your art and crafts with us. So this is from Jacob. Oh, wait, nope. Here is from Ricardo. Made this for one of my uncles. Look at that! Very cool. Wow! Really talented. Now from wow, Jacob. Wow, look at that picture. Oh my goodness, I love taking cool sunset art pics of Mission San Juan. That's very cool. Hey, today is the 20th anniversary of Big Lou's Pizza, and of course they are famous for their 42-inch pizzas that are both incredible, delicious, and as their 20th anniversary arrives, they are having to shift the ways they do business to, have to adapt to today's struggles. Yes, all right, well we'll see you tomorrow at one. That's a look back at when we were there. Yep, with that big 60-inch <laughs> pizza. Oh, that was good.